Thank you. So in just a moment, I'm going to compose a piece of music for you, a musical improvisation of sorts, although this is going to be somewhat of an unusual improvisation. So the first thing that's going to be a little bit strange about this performance is that the laptop here is the only instrument in this piece, which is perhaps not that unusual in this day and age. But what is going to be unusual about the laptop's central role in this performance is that the software, which will be generating all of the music that you're about to listen to, hasn't been written yet. My musical interface for this performance isn't a piano keyboard, it's not the bow and strings of a violin, it's not even a Microsoft Connect or a Wiimote or some other sort of contemporary gestural device suitable for musical performance. It's not even a banana, although I'm, I think that's a pretty cool idea. Um, instead, in this performance, my musical interface is going to be a computer programming language. So my role then in this performance is to write the software that will be generating all of the music that you're about to listen to. And while I'm writing the program, and I'll obviously be listening to the program and changing the program to produce the music that you're going to be listening to, I'll also be projecting my screen behind me here so that you'll be able to see everything that I see, so that you'll be able to see exactly how I'm constructing the piece as I go along. And while you're sitting there and listening and watching the performance, it's worth considering that sort of by revealing the code in this way, we're somehow partly unveiling the sort of compositional process that's usually hidden away behind the scenes that you never see. And that this style of performance emphasizes, therefore, not just the music, but also to a degree how that music was constructed. But even if you don't understand any of the code that you're looking at on the screen, I still very much hope that you'll enjoy the music nonetheless and that the text theatre, the kind of dialogue between me and the machine that's happening on the screen behind me, will still be interesting to you. So without further ado, I'm going to get cracking, and uh, I hope you all enjoy the performance, and I hope also that you find this kind of new and contemporary performance practice interesting and maybe even just a little bit provocative as well. So, thank you. The design of new virtual reality environments will be a new art form, some will be recreations of 
beautiful spaces like this or uh, completely imaginary environments that would be impossible in the real world. We routinely do intellectual feats today, as I mentioned earlier, that would be impossible without our machines, and we always move on to the next horizon. because we'll be able to combine the subtle capabilities of human intelligence, which is largely our pattern recognition capability, with ways in which a thousand dollar computer is already superior to us and remember billions of times. The 
devices are going to get smaller and smaller. That's been the whole history of computation. The first machines were very remote, and then they were on a desk, then under our arms, then in our pockets. They'll make their way in our clothing. Thank you.